What will you see in the Shulamite? As it were the company of two armies. Song of Solomon chapter 6 verse 13 Are you not often a mystery to yourself? Warm one moment, cold the next. Abasing yourself one hour, exalting yourself the following. Loving the world, full of it, steeped up to your lips in it today. Crying, groaning, and sighing for a sweet manifestation of the love of God tomorrow. Brought down to nothingness, covered with shame and confusion, on your knees before you leave your room, filled with pride and self-importance before you have got downstairs. Despising the world, and willing to give it all up for one taste of the love of Jesus when in solitude. Trying to grasp it with both hands when in business. What a mystery are you, touched by love and stung with enmity, possessing a little wisdom and a great deal of folly, earthly-minded and yet having the affections in heaven, pressing forward and lagging behind, full of sloth and yet taking the kingdom with violence, and thus the spirit, by a process which we may feel but cannot adequately describe, leads us into the mystery of the two natures, that company of two armies, perpetually struggling and striving against each other in the same bosom, so that one man cannot more differ from another than the same man differs from himself. But do not nature, sense, and reason contradict this? Do not the wise and prudent deny this? There must be a progressive advance. They say, in holiness there must be a gradual amendment of our nature until at length all sin is rooted out, and we become as perfect as Christ. But the mystery of the kingdom of heaven is this, that our carnal mind undergoes no alteration, but maintains a perpetual war with grace, and thus the deeper we sink in self-abasement, under a sense of our vileness, the higher we rise in a knowledge of Christ. And the blacker we are in our own view, the more lovely does Jesus appear.